at point guard number zero, the Aquaman, Paolo Hufalde. Forward number 13, Ken Osikos. Starting at guard number 14, Tay Tay Chudoro. The way that Jamar Gibbine would play in this game. Yeah, this could probably be a statement game for uh, Jamar and wanting to prove that I should have gotten in there. Ubalde on to Baltazar. He has that in his arsenal. Yeah, how about that? Veteran to veteran right there after that jam by uh, KG. Paolo answers back with a three. And Tete again with another three this time. That's another veteran. I cannot believe I was unable to prepare myself <laughs> to annotate that. But still, something that we should all be happy about. That's why the lead is still up to 18. Ubalde off of the screen. Kicks it out by Gunn. Gets it to go. Even if he makes a big shot, right. I've never seen him really pump his fists or do any certain kind of celebration. Right. Osikos getting a jumper from the right baseline. Well, a good setup job on that pick and pop on the other end. It keeps on burning. Ubalde inside, sidestep, finishing with the left. Now I think he knows. <laughs> I think he knows it's almost there. That's his first basket of the game. I always say this, every time that you have way off to airborne, it's very difficult. And there you go, that is it, 1,000 points in his MPBL career for the Aquaman, Paolo Hubalde. And what a way to earn it on a night that he's on the cusp of a triple-double stabilizer in this game for the Mindoro Disciplinados. 18 points on the board in this match for Paolo Hubalde who has had a spectacular MPBL career. This is another milestone in what has been such a very impressive resume. There you see Commissioner Kenneth Remdes awarding the game ball to Paolo Hobalde. Yeah, I've been rightfully so, and Paolo's really earned this one. And, you know, he's done everything for this team. Score, rebound, assist, lead, facilitate. He's been that guy, really, and uh, so much appreciation from the family 